what's going on guys Kalamazi here and I'm excited to make this video this is one that I've not really scripted I'm sort of just gonna go uh I'm gonna go with it I'm gonna go with the flow this is probably barring the complexity announcement uh, about a month ago the biggest announcement that I've ever made for YouTube for Twitch for a my, I guess my content creation in general I am incredibly excited to finally make it over the past few months and especially the last two weeks or so I've taken a bit of extra time off streaming I've haven't streamed five six days a week normally it's been like four this week I took three days off I bit we there's been a tremendous amount of work that's been put into this and it's something that I wanted to be live initially in 9.0 but due to the pushbacks and COVID and everything going on it was sort of tough to reach that goal but with 9.1 coming out uh, at this point we've had time to do it although I will say it has taken so much more time and work and effort and everything possible than I ever expected it to it's probably hundreds of hours of work from myself from others the editor uh person who created the website input insight from other people the warlock discord um yeah so I am incredibly excited to finally unveil for those of you who have been wondering what the big announcement is if, if you're watching this video I've already made it on stream so but if you want to swing by and say hello uh feel free but that being said the big announcement I've, I've gotten questions a lot about hey your video guides are great but do you ever have, have any plans of making text guides or guides that somebody can reference on the fly Kalamazi.gg is now officially live this website has been so much work but it, it it's so awesome and i'm so excited and happy to finally be able to unveil it to all of you guys by the way my camera's blocking this there's a link to the stream here and this actually updates with my, my most recent video that i post on youtube uh twitter discord patreon it's down below but kalamazi.gg is now officially live warlock guides are rating mythic plus and I guess just everything you could possibly want Warlock related in general. I figure this is one of the last big pieces that I had missing as far as like content and cre creation and I guess just covering multiple ends of the spectrum goes. I've wanted to uh, just do this for a long time and uh, it's finally here. So as you can see, this video is not very, not very staged, not planned out very well. But we're going to go through it. So by the way, aren't these, aren't these sick? This looks so cool. This looks so cool the person who i um commissioned to work on is, is incredible like it, it, they blow me away with that being said if you're interested in affliction guides affliction destruction demonology sanctum of domination a boss by boss breakdown of each talent build what the boss does what recommend legend legendary there is mythic plus af Demo, Destro, a Tyrannical build, a Hybrid build, a Fortify build, streams, a list of streamers, which we'll get to in a minute. If you're looking to watch Warlock content, obviously, hey, you know, come on the stream when I'm live, but obviously there's plenty of awesome Warlock streamers out there and uh, a handful of them are listed here. With that being said, guides for each. So you can indeed click on, click on this and it'll bring you to whatever guide you want, or you can use the actual home bar here, navigate to, you know, specific, sp specific sections that you want to see. Okay. Affliction Warlock. Doesn't this look sick? Doesn't this look so cool? Like I, I, I'm so excited to finally be able to show you guys and unveil everything that I've, we've been working on for the longest time. There will be some revisions made. I would assume there might be a few typos here and there, even though I've had people read it over again and again. I want to change a few final things. But if you have a question about Aflock, Demo Lock, Destro Lock, Sank of Domination, or whatever current tier it is, or Mythic Plus, my goal is to have this website be a reference point if you want a text guide. The video guides will still be out, obviously. I'll still be streaming. But this is the final step that I really want to take to have the uh, content creation, I guess, uh, I don't know, have it covered. If you're interested in Covenants, Kyrian, Necrolord, Nightfay, Venthyr, they're all interactable. Clicking the icon will show you what the actual ability does, where it's good, where it's bad. Nightfay is your best recommended uh, conduit or uh, conduit soulbind for affliction. Venthyr, soulbinds. If you're interested in which soulbind is presumed to be best for your current covenant or heading in the next patch, what it could be. Kyrian, Pelagos, Necrolord, Ameni, Venthyr, the relevant abilities here. Soothing Shade, Token of Appreciation, Grove Invigoration, Burrs, Neos Tools Poison. Let's say you're not sure what conduit you want to play. Well, we have Withering Bolt. We have Corrupting Leer. To be fair, this covers every conduit. You don't really want to play Corrupting Leer, but Bolt, Leer, 
malignancy rolling agony and soul rot and this will tell you why you don't really want to play corrupting leer or which ones are technically better finesse conduits endurance conduits legendaries malefic wrath sacralash wrath of consumption relic of demonic synergy there's actually a direct link here to wowhead if you want to view the actual legendary itself as well which is really really cool a handful of things are actually linked to wowhead in the uh in the guides per section if you want to look at that talent builds single target build aoe slash mythic plus build there are multiple options in certain rows highlighted in orange at times sometimes green indicating that there are different choices you can make depending on whatever scenario you're in and the actual description down here we won't define what that means absolute corruption can be played if dot maintenance is of concern but it should not be it should not be playing seed i need to reword that to be fair for a more detailed talent breakdown see below there is an entire talent breakdown here of every single talent that's all it needs to be changed that's all interactable it shows what it does where it's good why it's good where it's bad everything there and in between stat weights intellect mastery haste crit once again i would say please run your own sims just like it says right here on raid bots if you want to be lazy you can follow this but you're probably not in matching your character consumables i get asked so often what are the best consumables for the raid what are they called i forget the name of the flask half the time not anymore food flask potion grease oil runes armor kits and chance it covers celestial guidance sinful revs not listed here probably need to add that but either way enchants gems your rotation covering synergy covering malefic wrath covering AB mythic plus this is one of the biggest reasons why i wanted to write a text guide and have the website up is because a lot of this is hard to cover in videos and things can also change quite often in videos on youtube the af demo desher guides i try to wait for ptr to be marked as release because for the most part that means things are set in stone but with a website i can go back in here i can hit edit and change the rotation it goes in depth on what you want to do, why you want to do it, what the spec is like, what separates Malefic Wrath from Synergy, what makes AoE Mythic Plus builds so good with Seed compared to the hybrid builds, why is Synergy not as good in Plus as it is in single target, vice versa. Filler Rotation covers Dot Pandemic Rage. And if you want, there's also a video down here that you can watch. It's the It should be the 9.1 guide. I haven't linked it yet. I just put it out about an hour ago. But that's it and the exact same thing is there for demonology and it's here for destruction i'm at this this is insane it's it's literally nether portal demo like it, these banners are so cool that they blow my mind it's nether portal destruction looks insane there's literally veins on the wings it blows me away this is so incredibly cool and it far exceeds any any vision i had of the site like I am so incredibly happy with where it's at. A couple things can still be changed, but I am so incredibly happy where it's at. And I, I guess I hope that you guys are too. Same thing here with Destro, covers Covenant, Soulbinds, Conduits, every single thing you can possibly think of. And if things change for 9.0 or 9.1 or Sanctum, I can update it on the fly within three minutes. I can go in here and change this, change that. If you want a talent breakdown, here you go. Inferno, Kata, Fire Brimstone, Roaring Blaze, Grimoire Sacrifice. Nobody plays this. It's all here, all broken down for you as a quick reference point on the fly. And the great thing is it all works on mobile too. It's perfect. It's great. It's both, I want it to be like the main reference hub for whatever you need as far as Warlock is concerned. Let's take a look at this demonology banner again, by the way. This thing looks so cool. There's Bile Squad Bombers, there's Fellhounds, there's Imps, there's another portal, dude. It's so cool. It's so incredibly cool. So moving on from the three guides here, as mentioned, we also have Mythic Plus. We also have Sanctum of Domination, Mythic Plus. This is pretty cool too. These are, it's so sick. These look so good, man. It's Tazavesh. This is the Tazavesh, Tazavesh dungeon with tier seven, tier eight, Voidheart, I believe. Super sick. So this will essentially cover AF, Demo, and Destro and Mythic Plus. Gives a brief overview on how Warlock's good, where it's bad. Just the overall, I guess, how the community feels about lock. And we'll summarize this here, but AF. Now, these builds, obviously, there are some niche changes you can make here and there on a more like high-end, in-depth in scale. And I might elaborate more on these in the future, but I wanted to list, I get questions all the time. What build would you play this week? Is it Tyrannical? Is it Fortified? Do you want a hybrid build? There you go. Aft Tyrannical. Drain Siphon PS Haunt Dark Soul. Hybrid build. This is more so like on a fortified week, but you want more single target damage. You can play Siphon over Writhe. If you're full fortified AoE, Writhe with So. And there you go. Covers everything here. Recommend the legendary and talks about what the build does, what it's good at, what it's bad at. 
same with demon elegy full single target tyrannical hybrid playing you see some builds playing vile fiend and like soul conduit or soul strike and grimoire but either way tyrannical hybrid fortified build big dog build dreadlash fts soul conduit grimoire covered here legendaries what's recommended and why destruction tyrannical hybrid fortified i will say destro has 18 different builds you can play in the end probably have to feel it out but <laughs> tyrannical hybrid fortified recommending shadowburn here over shadowburn as much here and here uh the huge two minute rain of fire build talking about playing ruby with the two minute inferno build wilfreds versus cinders wilfreds versus full cinders it gets better though i get asked all the time what talents would you play for certain bosses in sanctum domination Every single boss is listed here with every single recommended spec and talent build and legendaries and the breakdown and the recommended spec and the actual raid testing video that we did as well. You can see at the top here, starting on the Terror Guru, recommended spec, Demonology, full single target. Aft's there, Destro's there too if you want to play it. Once again, eradication could be a thing this tier. We don't really know. But if you want to play Aft, hey, here's your legendary. If you want to play Destro, here's your legendary. Yes, I know that Malefograph is a little better up as Aft, but it's miserable in single target. You want to watch, watch raid testing. Hey, here it is. It's incredibly loud, but there it is. Every single video is listed here. Single target base fight where you require power similar to Torghast and the brief breakdown synopsis of the boss is also listed. I have the Jailer, same thing. Eradication being relevant for Destro here. Looking into later fights, you can see like we mentioned, let's see here. Let's scroll down a bit. Let's go to KT, for example. KT. Eradication, Shadow Burn, potentially Reign of Chaos. Looking at AF too, maybe Rhyther, Shadows Embrace over Siphon Life, being multiple options here. Demo having a pretty similar build, but recommend the legendaries. Synergy or Wrath, Cinders or maybe Wilfreds, Wilfreds. And testing is indeed here as well. I'm so incredibly excited for this. I really hope it's a great tool for you guys. I'm just super, super, super pumped that I'm finally able to bring this to you guys. I've been, I've been working on this like an insane amount for the past week and a half, two weeks, and a, uh, even more over the past month and a half, two months. And that's just me. That's not the person who I hired to make the site, to design the site, maintain the site, the person who worked on all the artwork and the other people who've had a handful uh, as far as like, you know, reviewing it and pointers and details and this and that and everything else. I'm so incredibly excited to unveil this to you guys. And the coolest thing, I, 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 I don't know, one of the coolest things about the site and one thing that I really, really, really wanted to make sure we had was a streamers tab. Yes, obviously you should watch my stream when I'm streaming, but if you're not, I actually reach out to every single person who's here. They've all approved and wanted to be here. Myself, THD, Deep Shades, Zeru, Shele, Flex, Zyronic, D Carter. D Carter's even live. If people are alive and you can watch their stream right here. I don't know what D's playing, but that's cool. Maldiva, Luzi, Chanimal's live too. More to come. I'm so incredibly excited for this site. I, I hope you guys like it too. Kalamazi.gg is the actual name. Now, I'm going to have a section in my Discord as far as feedback is concerned, because I'm sure it's probably going to be a handful of things here and there that people find that probably, probably are, could be changed. A typo, a bug, this and that, here and there. If you find any, I would please go in my Discord and submit it under that section. Don't put it in the comments of the video because I'm, I'll do my best to see it, but it'll probably get lost in translation. There's a link to my Discord down below. Also, my Twitch link is somewhere here. It's all over the page. So this is the big unveil. This is what I have been working on for a very long time. The video guides on YouTube are all out now. The spec guides are out. Sanctum drops in about what? A week, almost two weeks, a little less than two weeks, a little more, give or take. 9.1 is finally here, and this is one of the big reasons why I wanted 9.1 to come out for the longest time. The site is so much better than I thought it would ever be. It's so cool. It's awesome. I'm incredibly just, I'm blown away by all the work that everybody put in and what the final product looks like. I'm just so incredibly impressed. So hopefully you guys are too. Once again, this video is more or less off the cusp. Uh, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know what you guys think though in the comment section below because, uh, Feedback is important. Just uh, just know that you'll hurt my feelings if you make fun of it. But yeah. Thanks, guys. Check it out. Kalamazi.gg. Thanks for watching, dudes. Peace.